how do you measure the success and the effectiveness of your data science projects and initiatives? And more importantly, how do you communicate them in a way to help people realize the benefits that they're getting from the work of the data analytics and data science teams? Uh, this is a, a question that obviously comes up all the time. Uh, this week, we kicked off our data and AI in retail series for 2022. And it was a topic that came up in the in this first session. So we're speaking with uh, Carrie Jones from Countdown and New Zealand and Vincent Ko, which is the head of data science from Orton Group. And in these sessions, uh, if you haven't been to one, we have Q&A, we have chat going, we have polls. So it's very interactive for the audience. And one of the questions from the audience was measuring the success of data science projects and initiatives. From my perspective, there's there's a milestone that is kind of like the gate opener, and that is uh, getting something to production. So it can be getting a, a machine learning model into production, or getting uh, the uh, the dashboard, the analytics uh, into into production in a way that um, users can interact with it. Um, and then, so that's that's your that's your gate opener. Uh, from then on. It, we can look at it from, from two perspectives. One is that there is operational decisions that, uh, that are assisted through the analytical and data science work. If it's a machine learning model in production, uh, then that is usually around an operational decision that is done in the business because that can be done thousands of times a day or tens of thousands of times a day. Uh, and evaluating that, you make a prediction, uh, a little bit of time goes on, you get the actuals. Uh, and then you can compare them. Um, and obviously that's how we, we measure error rates when we're training and validating our, our predictive models. But it's key to keep doing that in production. And then to communicate that, it, um, one, one easy way that I've found is to have the, um, the, a chart where we're splitting the data by deciles and we can have the predicted value uh, split by deciles. And then next to it, we can have the actual value split by deciles as well, by the deciles of the prediction, so you can show the difference, and take a snapshot of a month at a time. So you can show that for, you know, December, this is the decile plot, January, here's the decile plot, and February, here's the decile plot. So then if you're automatically retraining your models or creating new models, you should see visually the improvement from a month to month uh, perspective which you know and on the back end as data scientists we measure numerically uh, so that's that's a key for operational decisions for strategic decisions that can be supported through data analysis work or through dashboards and insights work um, for strategic decisions they generally decisions that happen less often and that they're big ticket items uh, it could be say an acquisition moving into new markets uh, choosing which customer segments to to double down on or which ones to exit there pivotal um, moments of the for the organization and those require a lot of ad hoc analysis to build that insight the key there is to then follow the implementation and assist with the implementation and the change management required in the organization to be able to leverage that insight and and get the the value that was that was uh, promised really or or identified through the through the analysis and then help measure that as things start to change in the organization. Have a baseline and look at how things are changing. Definitely, at least in my experience, the harder of the two, strate measuring strategic value uh, or the value of strategic analytics is harder than measuring the value of the operational ones. But definitely, it's measuring the value of analytical and data science projects is something that we must do and something that is on people's minds. So it came up in this webinar. The next webinar on the retail uh, series, which is data and AI in retail. The next webinar is on doing more with less. So we're hearing from Sri from 7-Eleven on how he has a small team of data scientists and analysts and he's able to impact the whole enterprise. Uh, so come join us for that one. Uh, it's going to be a great one. Thanks.